Hello everyone, this is Hafiz and in this short video today I'm going to show you how you can create a multiple selection drop down menu using a plugin, a jQuery plugin called Chosen. So let's go to Google and first download some stuff. Uh, actually because we are going to use a jQuery plugin so we need a jQuery first. We'll search jQuery. And then select and then click on the first link then go to download section and then go for this compressed version of jQuery you will see all the jQuery file inside this browser you just right click here and then save pages now I'll save this file inside my project folder uh, I have already installed XAMPP server on this machine so I'll go to htdocs shortcut which I have created on the desktop and inside this uh, so a root directory I'll create one folder and keep the name learning and inside the learning I'll create another folder and let's say this is multi select or um, make it simple and say m select and then save this jQuery file jQuery dash 3.3.1.min.js inside this m select folder now again go to Google and let's search for uh, the plug jQuery plugin. The name of that plugin is chosen. And select. And then click on the first link. Now here I'm, uh, we are going to create a similar drop down menu with multiple section option like this one and if you can click on this one and you can see the option then you can select the option and you can see the beauty of this plugin is the one the option you have selected already it will become a disabled and you cannot select that one anymore so uh, let's go and download this first click on download button and then download this chosen zip file click on this one and save this file now let's go and open downloads folder and then double click on this file the zip file it will unzip for you and then you can see all the list of files inside this folder so we need some files from this uh, list of files we need few files and we will copy these files into our stdocs folder and then the same folder we have created earlier learning inside the docs learning and then m select so we'll keep some files from that chosen plugin folder inside this m select folder so we'll select one file we'll go for that minimum version which is chosen.min.css here and then select another file which is uh, chosen dot jquery dot min dot yes this file so and then these two png files that will appear when we will select the option there will be one close button with the option so these two files these png files we need so we will copy these two files and keep and drag these files and copy these files inside our m select folder so let's copy all these four files here in my m select folder after we finish copying these files now let's go to our code editor and create a new file and save this file inside this htdocs learning then I'm select and give the name index.html save this file and let's create a basic html structure first and give the title first multi multiple select okay multiple option select and then let's link our css file first using a link tag 
relation style sheet and then reference to one file if you remember the name of that CSS file is chosen dot min dot CSS I'll show I can show you this file here in M select this file we have linked in our document the CSS section the, uh, the head section now let's create another link and point our jQuery JS file so it's inside the same folder let's create a script tag first and then give the source um, which is jQuery dash 3 dot 3 dot 1 dot min dot js and now let's add our last file which we copied from chosen plugin folder create another script tag give the source chosen dot jquery dot min dot js that's all now we can show you these all three files are here this one jquery 3.3.min.js at the bottom at last and then the last file is here chosen.jquery.min.js so now go to the body section and then create a form tag inside form tag create a selector and select and close tag uh, select tag and then option and then copy and then say option one and now copy this line multiple times and change the name to option three option four and option five now inside the select tab let's assign the id i'll say m select and then multiple now let's create a javascript to activate our chosen plugin so i'll open script tag here before the body closing tag and then say document dot ready function then inside this function we'll open the we'll select our select tab using the id you can copy this id and paste here and then chosen function now this this part is finished let's see let's go to the browser and see the result we remember this file was under stdocs we'll say localhost and then learning and then inside learning there was one folder called mselect and then index.html so open this file you can see a drop down menu is there but it's showing very smaller one i think we need to give some custom css and increase the width so go to the select uh, tag and say style is equal to and say width i think 300 pixel is enough so it's say 300 pixel and go back to our browser and refresh and you can see the view and now the width has increased so now you if you click here and you can select the option oh, all these options are visible here and select option 2 all the way 3 and 4 and then option 5 and now you can see the beauty of this plugin if you click again on the options and then you will see the option you have already selected selected those options are disabled and not you, you cannot select these option anymore and I hope this video was helpful for you and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you